What's up, Millets Games and Nerds, and welcome back to the channel. We've got another action review. Today we've got Power Wolf with No Prayer at Mid. Let's get right into it. Just my ass. Why out of this song I'm kind of focused like I'm dialed in on the drums for this one like the guitars is just I'm a guitar player I'm not a drummer and I can play a little bit of drums but nothing to save anyone's life or my own you know but for some reason the drums are really pulling my attention and that's a good thing it's not a bad thing the guitars are they're there you know they're there they're doing their thing but I'm quite really focused on what the drummer is doing over this I don't know why it's pulling my attention so much I like that close hi hat man, it's, it's pretty well done. Interesting choices. Holy fire. Right, that was Power Wolf with No Prayer to Midnight. Pretty mess song, dude, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I'm yawning because I got a bit bored there, maybe. You know, maybe, 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 maybe time to step it a bit the fuck up, Power Wolf. Man, it feels like just uh, every other Power Wolf song in this one. Nothing special, nothing really stood out, but for some reason the drums was really pulling my attention. Like, I was all zoned in and focused on the drummer this time, you know. Like I said, I'm a guitar player, so usually I'm focused on the guitars, you know, trying to figure out the techniques, you know, the approaching their playing and all that kind of stuff, but you know, props to the drummer for kind of keeping it simple in a way that it's not, like, easy, but really complimenting the song, man. Like, I feel you could have done so many different things with the song, but 
His choices were kind of spot on, man. I appreciate when any musician, be you a guitar player, drummer, or even the vocalist, you know, kind of knowing what the song needs and not what you feel like you want to do to show some skills and stuff like that, if that makes sense. Like, playing the right type of beats in the song to kind of support the song. I'm just not trying to you know, catch shine and be like, oh, look at me, I'm the best damn drummer or guitar player in the world, you know? Like, just kind of doing what needs to be done for the sake of the song. I feel like this is something a lot of bands miss, and also why a lot of musicians kind of get into each other's hair. It's like trying to always pull the shine, you know, like, oh, I want to be number one, blah, blah, blah. Like, get all the egos and shit, man, and, and write your music in a way that it complements the songs, you know. No matter what your role is in the band, always approach your writing in the way that whatever you're doing, it's going to complement the song, it's going to make the song interesting to listen, and not like, overcomplicate stuff unnecessary. I feel like that's the best way to explain it. You know, do what the song needs. Put the egos away and trying to be the best and just write killer music. Man. I really enjoyed the drums in this one. It was so simplistic, but it really pulled my attention. Man. Yeah, that was pretty good, man. Yeah, back to the song itself. Like I said, it's a pretty mess song, you know. It's like, I think I haven't heard before from Power Wolf, you know. And I, I know they've got quite a few albums behind them. And it it kind of does get difficult. Long you do it to come up with more original stuff. I feel like they could have done it, but there with this one. Well, all right, that brings us to the end of this one. If you liked the video, do consider consider do consider. <laughs> if you liked the video, consider leaving a like and also hitting that subscribe button. It's free and it helps me out a lot. As always, keep it metal. See you in the next one. Cheers.